Hey everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's another chilled, relaxed stream today. Kind of like when I played Super Mario Odyssey and was just relaxing and playing a game and enjoying myself and chatting about whatever popped into my mind. That's gonna be what today's is. Um, primarily because I haven't really streamed the story of this game at all. I think I might have streamed the very start of it, but that was it. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay. But this is a this is my go-to game for being extremely lazy and typically falling asleep as well, actually, because the music is really relaxing. So, I tend to listen to it and fall asleep, especially especially if I'm lying down and like have the controller like snuggled up underneath me and whatnot. Well, not underneath me, but like under the covers with me. And I have to fall asleep, which is what I've done the past two nights, I think. Because I've been trying to get further in this game because the second one in the series comes out. Tomorrow, I believe. And I don't know if I'm gonna buy it full price yet or not. But I do like the Ryza games, they're they're pretty fun. Though honestly I I'm, well, I'm still thinking about it, but I'm if I get the second game, I might get it for the Switch. Because after playing after playing through this one, um, I could see that kind of being really good because this game kind of benefits from being able to just kind of pick it up and go and doing a lot of that because there's a lot of crafting in it which as you know from my final fantasy 14 streams is something that i really enjoy oh yeah i'd say i enjoy it i guess i i do a lot of it and find it to be amusing so I definitely enjoy it but yeah so anyway there's been plenty of anime in the past few days. I've had uh, some good exciting adventures in real life as well. And um, I'm currently getting over kind of coming out of one of those funks, one of those annoying moods that one gets into every now and then. Okay, okay. I, don't, I don't know why. So this weekend, or Friday rather, I went and hung out with my friend. And that was all fun and good. And then the next day I just felt so lousy. And then like it continued until like earlier today. And I'm feeling more positive now, but yesterday was just garbage. Like I took three naps, I think. I don't think I got a proper night's sleep last night at all. It was more or less like four naps, I guess, because it was in bits of like three hours or so as far as sleeping went and like lights were not off didn't get like didn't get all rested all those things but um let me uh let me tell you about my exciting adventure on friday though so the first time in like okay so not the first time i've gone over a friend's house during this wonderful pandemic but Definitely the first time I've gone like, over a friend's house in the area. I know that might seem kind of weird, but like on holidays when I go back home, I hang out with my friends then. And so that's totally normal. Like, a very different environment, a very different climate, as it were. So it was unusual. But uh, the last week, last week I had my friend over accidentally on his birthday. And then he invited me to come back to his place. I think I mentioned this on stream. But um, he invited me to come back to his place the next week for pizza. And I was like, oh, cool. I, I like pizza. That'll be good. It's just the two of us hanging out and eating pizza, you know, chatting, doing kind of what we did at my place, but just different food. That'd be great, I thought. Um, so turns out he doesn't live by himself, which is my operating assumption. <laughs> so... That's my bad. Um, but the people he lives with are fairly nice, it seems. Uh, but I think he does live with some students, so I don't know if I 
particularly want to go back over there anytime soon because I have a friend coming to visit me mid-February who's immunocompromised, so I'll probably be going back to my usual hermit-like habit of essentially self-quarantining. Just because I don't want to, you know, pose a risk to his health, because <laughs> out of all the people, he's definitely up there as far as, you know, just being careful for him and whatnot. But, yeah, but I went over his place and we made pizza. We made really good pizza. Like three pies. Four, even, maybe. Um, there were a lot of us. And, yeah, you know, I, I brought over pepperoni and bacon and helped cut up veggies and things. And he had made the dough previously. And then, uh, you know, people started coming over. And it was fun. And it was nice. Um... But yeah, I, m I met two new people, one of which is someone who he lives with, and then the other person was someone who lives on the street from him. So like, fairly, fairly local people. Um, and that was mostly positive, I guess. They're kind of... a little weird. <laughs> I, suppose. I mean, my friend, he's a little weird, to be honest. But not in a bad way. I don't mean that negatively at all. He's just a very eclectic individual. He was very, very driven. Like, he got a patent. He was telling me about this during his week. He got a patent in, uh, in an idea that he had for some quantum computing related lithography, I believe. Something like that. But he's a very driven individual. Kind of quirky, I think, is how you describe it. Um, but, yeah, it was good. The other person, um, there was a girl going... I think? I actually don't remember. I've forgotten. Um, but there are two girls. One was trans, one was... Uh... See, this is where I'm messing up my, my memory isn't too good here. One of them preferred they-them stuff, but I don't remember if it was the trans person or not. Anyway, um, but they're fine and fun to hang out with. But... The only one of us, I mean, they were drinking, I guess, a little bit. I was just drinking tea. And so was my friend, I thought, for a while, but it seemed like he was—he started drinking at some point. I just didn't notice it. And, um, because his face started to flush the top of the Um, but the, the, the trans girl was drinking a lot more than the rest of us. And then, uh, the other girl started drinking too. And it was fairly amusing to watch. <laughs> to watch the, uh, the girl get into heated arguments with my friend over Egyptian Rescue. It was a lot of fun. I like the music here. This is my first time exploring this area, by the way. I've unlocked it, but I um, hadn't actually gone looking around in it yet. I think it's the final area of the game, but I'm not entirely sure, because there's still a couple other areas I need to unlock. Um, but yeah, I was sitting across from the, from the trans girl, and... At some point, like maybe like an hour and a half in, while we were all playing games and enjoying ourselves and whatnot, my friend was like, oh, you know, I think it's great that everyone's like finally getting comfortable with enough with each other that like people are starting to make eye contact. <laughs> of which like, her being right across me, she immediately started like making heavy eye contact with me. It was so fucking awkward. Because I was in the middle of eating pizza and I, I don't... I don't really like making eye contact with people when I'm eating, like, does anyone else not like, like, you don't like being watched while you're putting food in your mouth? Is it just me? I feel like it's a fairly normal thing to find odd. But, anyway, so there's that. Yeah, I normally don't, I don't know, I don't think I make eye contact with people that often anyway, unless, like, I'm having an argument with them and trying to get a point across. But this girl across from me just kept like staring right into my eyes and was like, could you, could you calm yourself, please? But it was still a fun night. Um, we played, uh, what is the name of the game? Uh, Red Dragon Inn. So we played Red Dragon Inn for like an hour or so, and then swapped over to card games. We played, um, what was that game? Garbage, which was pretty fun, pretty easy too. Played garbage, uh, shit on your neighbor, Egyptian rat screw, and 
I think maybe one other, but I've, I've forgotten. But it was fun. You know, I, I learned the new game. I didn't know how to play garbage beforehand. It's pretty easy, though. Um, we were playing with four people, so it went by mostly quickly, since you're kind of using all the cards in the deck. I think four people was probably the maximum you could play with. Oh, there's another thing? Or did I just go around in a circle? I must have gone around in a circle. Yeah. But it was fun, though. And it was sort of... I don't think it was weird to hang out with people, I guess. Like, I was trying to figure, like, sort myself afterwards and was like, am I in a weird mood? This is the next day. Like, am I in a weird mood because I, like, hung out with people for the first time in the area in, like, months? Or is it something else? I think it was just something else. Something else. Getting that, like, introvert, introvert post hang out with people, like, awkward, lonely feelings. I, I don't know how to describe this. But, like, my batteries are drained, I guess. I think is what it was. Like, I, I expended all my introvert resources on hanging out with these people for, like, Six hours, I think. Like, I went over there at six o'clock to make pizza and whatnot, and then left around midnight or so. Which was a lot later than I thought it was. I thought it would have been like three hours or so. So, time flies when you're having fun and meeting new people, I guess. But, I don't know, I think it might just be normal. It might just be the normal tendencies. Of someone who spends a lot of time in their head. But, um. It was, it was weird hanging out with people again. Or people that I don't know and, like, trying to remember how to, like. How to be safe. Like, building up friendships again, or, like, getting to know people when you have no idea who, what they are, like, what their eggshells are, what you shouldn't talk about, what you should talk about. All those things. That was, that was weird. But. Luckily, my friend is fairly good at carrying the conversation to some degree, so I don't let the two more extroverted people take care of doing that. But it was fun overall, I think. Mm, more dream mushrooms. So. But anyway, regardless, I did have a lot of fun, even if the next day I was drained and spent most of it sleeping and kind of feeling bad. So I think it's still probably pretty worth it overall. If he invites him back next week, I'd probably have to say no, though, I think. Or well, maybe not. It's the, it's the 24th today, and my friends in the immunocompromised you know, come over, comes over around Valentine's. So, as long as it's before the end of February, I don't have any worries about hanging out with people. Because if I did happen to catch something horribly diseased, I would be, you know, it would be safe for my friend by the time he came over. I thought it was kind of funny though. I didn't actually intend to invite my friend to come visit, like, for Valentine's Day. It just turns out that, you know, the day, the weekend that he has a long weekend happens to be that weekend. And I have it too. And we were looking for a time to, you know, do that. And, you know, he's been having a... He's been having a pandemic. He had to, to self-isolate away from the people who he lives with because one of them one of them had a friend over who turned up positive later on. So then he had to be like extra careful even in his own home. So it's been been rough for him, I think. Because not only does he need to avoid like going out in general and those kind of things, but then to have to do that within your own home. It, it just sounds like a lot of stress. So, that I can invite him up to my place where there isn't any of those issues at all, because I'm fairly hermit like as far as going out goes and what have you, it's, it's a good thing. So, I think he'll appreciate that. I'm just gonna have to make sure to, like, not wanna, like. Oh, wait, oh, I can use the net on it? Spearworm. Um, I just make sure to avoid certain topics I don't feel like talking about. As time goes on, more and more of my friends tend to like get more stubborn, I guess, about their opinions and those types of things. 
and I'm a fairly easygoing person. Like, I don't really like talking about um, things that people get tired of about, or things that people get tired about that often. You know, like, I mean, if you, if you want to end a friendship, just start talking about politics with people. I think. Like, there's some people you, that you can definitely talk about those types of things with. Like, one of my friends, I, I really enjoy talking about politics with him because he's reasonable and doesn't, like, he's he's just one of the types of people who will have a conversation for the sake of having the conversation and, you know, will come at things from multiple sides when it comes to most issues, anyway. There are some issues that he's he doesn't move on, but <laughs> those are, those are like, rela oops, related mostly to, like, his field and such, where he has a good amount of expertise in it, so he feels fairly confident in his position on those types of things, and that's, that's fine. Uh, and I like to argue like the opposite of him sometimes, just so he can educate me more on the topic from his perspective, which is always good and enjoyable. Ooh, it's a it's a Felushi thingy. All right, let's go murder this bitch. All right, hold on. Wow. All right, smack it with a hammer. All right, maybe I can actually get to tactics level five with this thing. Uh, never mind. No, it doesn't have health. One thing about this game that I noticed pretty early on was that it's really, really easy to, like, level yourself up way past what you're probably supposed to be. And so, I did that by mistake. I really didn't mean to, I promise. But, like, clearing the missions for your characters... Uh, let's see if I saw... I don't think I have one anymore. No, right? Yeah, no, she doesn't have it. Um, but getting things like using the action orders or the extra orders was really hard to do because I, I pretty much needed to find bosses to fight or like the bigger enemies because nothing would survive long enough for me to actually use an action order. And I feel like that's going to be the same thing with this kind of stuff. Like, Lila wants me to reach tactics level five. I've never done that. Everyone is too overpowered for it. Like, I like the crafting system in this game, so I tend to make good items, like this one. And it's kind of really, really good and makes me really powerful, and everything around me dies because of it. <laughs> so, you know, it's good in some ways, less in others. Mm, we're gonna have to make a trip back. Way too easy to fill up my stuff. Uh, any sea level things to drop? Yes, funny. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. You. Fast travel back right away. Thank you. But yeah, you can see it here though. Right, like, my Helioprox is pretty much maxed out besides its quality. And it does rather well. I made the next weapon in the chain. Like, this I think is supposed to be better than this. But, uh, I haven't gone through some of the effort to get through this stuff. Yet. I think I don't have the gears. Oh, we can do that now. Oh, I have coal. I none of them come in uh, twos. I could just use two of those. Yeah, go ahead, get, a, get an offensive roll. Why not, Liza? The nice thing about the rebuild thing is you, you can use your low quality items for it because it doesn't actually affect the quality anymore. Alright, I need to make stout here, I guess. Do I do want the shiny. Uh, well, hold off on that. So I need what? Just one good piece of saltium? Maybe two? Alright, maybe two. Um, do I want the quality or do I want to use the Phantom Slayer? Probably Phantom Slayer, right? Having a Slayer for always for the close is probably better than having the overall quality for a small boost like that. I love this music. 
It's so relaxing. Constantly. All right, so let's make some good stuff. Then. Try to get a level four one. I think one of these. Is one of these a C? No. Okay. Well, this would be good. I'm making a really good item, so I shall boost the percent attack. And then speed, maybe? Yeah, I think speed would be better than trait. Yeah, if you remember any of my. Uh, let's see the right supplement. If you remember any of the Final Fantasy XIV cracking streams, this game is like that, but on steroids. Like. Massive steroids. Do I have a level 3 fire? Yes, I do. Do I have a good level 3 fire, though? That's the real question. Yeah, do I want to use a mixed one, though? No, let's use supplement stuff. Oh, you need 4. I don't want to use an eternal fire, though. Using those since they're easy to make. I need a five for ice. Mm, lapis paper. Where do you come from? I don't remember catching you, but okay. I have plenty of you, and you give me a really good score. So, and then let's give you a, um, yeah, okay. No, Bam! Look at that delicious piece of Staltium right there. Let's see, we're using this for good things. Finish speed. Huh. None of these are particularly exciting. Um, that, I guess, is good. There we go. And it's level 4. So that's nice. Oh, I was trying to make three units of it now. Cool. Okay, let's see how that goes with my other weapon. Am I blind? Yes, I am. There it is. Eagle. Some bronzies. Um. Doesn't really matter, does it? These do take up more gems, though. Not that that matters too much. Use the quality up as well. I don't even know what shining mana does. That's pretty nice, actually. I mean, not that I, not that I need it. Nothing hurts me. Ugh. I haven't gamed over once in the entire game. I think getting the. Plus attack the this one gives me level 51, so that's probably good. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I used one there. Oh, that's weird. Oh, because it's not red, that's why. Derp. So, bronze eyes and... Alright, hold on. I want to try to make a really good one of those. Or rather, one that would give more bonuses for uh, the status effects and everything. So, one sec. Bronzy boy. But yeah, um, I was talking about something though. Recharging my batteries, I think, right? So, yeah, it was just weird. I spent a lot of time sleeping yesterday and then waking up and feeling like garbage. So then I just proceeded to go back to sleep a lot. It was, it was one of those days. I'm sure everyone gets those. But it's just really annoying when you do, you know? Like, you feel like you wasted the day when that happens. Also, why do you keep reverting? Yeah, it doesn't matter, power flow. Okay, so that gives us that. Um, more quality, which we don't actually care about. I Actually, wait, I don't care about quality, do I? I mean, like, I care a little, but... We could actually save some of the 
some of this stuff because we're just gonna use it for rebuilding, so it only it really doesn't matter. So hold on, just make it low quality. Oh, so you can, if you've never played Atelier Ryza before, you can automate this. Like you press the button and then the computer decides. But uh, when I'm actually trying to make something for the purpose of something, I don't do it. Because, like, sometimes you have really good items mixed in. Like, these spirit armor. And if you choose best, like, you choose best or worst when you tell it to go automatically, it would just grab the best thing you have. And, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't always want that. Especially when I'm doing this. I don't care about crossing through that. Why am I not seeing. Why am I not seeing the effect? There it is. No. Nope. Equality. What, what is your effect? Am I blind? Did I press something weird? What's going on? There to show blueprint though, that's what I accidentally clicked. Uh, I don't have any like plus four stuff on some of these things. I'm missing the final step to get a defense plus three. I could rebuild the bronze eisen once I do it. But I think I'll just I'll get it by using an actual good one of these. Or at least a level three one. Oh wait, but I need to mm, doesn't matter, I need a plus four. Annoying. Okay, so we'll start with a good three on this, which will give us the plus one later on that I need. So no matter what we do, we'll take do that. So use the shit ones. Oh no. Hold on for now, we only need two. We have a relatively decent one on that. Although, actually, no, it's going to take two regardless. So. But yeah, I also started playing a new game yesterday. Not on stream, just by myself. Um, I am man enough to admit that I enjoy dating simulators. Uh, I don't care about that. So I was playing Crush Crush yesterday, which is like an idol. Idol dating sim. It's actually pretty fun. The uh, the characterization of the girls in that are, are pretty cute. And also, there's a fucking bear. Like, oh, hold on, let me, let me get a picture of this insane thing. I think I have it. Uh, oh no, no, I deleted it because I didn't want to fucking see it anymore. Hold on, here, I'll just pull up the game. One sec, I'll show it to you directly. It's so. <laughs> Oh god. Like, I like Honey Pop, so I like looking for games like it. And this game just straight up steals the music from Honey Pop. Hold on. Here. Let me show you Crush Crush here. Uh, come on. Game capture. There we go. Just Man, look, just look, look at these bears. Look at this thing. Beverly, thank you, stink! Do you not hate it? Because I hate it. So much. So much. <laughs> you apparently made a bear pun and that upset her in the club that you were at. <laughs> so she like broke your arm. That's how you met her. Alright, uh, attack charge and skill charge would be good. And maybe Pony Slayer? Three units. That should be enough for my purposes, I think. Um, but besides that, like, besides the bear, the game is fun so far. As fun as like an auto clicker type deal can be. Uh, I'm drunk. There. Nope. Not you. you. Okay. So give us plus four and plus two. Bam. So now we have the max level shiny mana, which is great. And the only thing left really is the quality of the item. So 
so plus 25, plus 30. So I'm about to like doing this. Plus 30. So I don't know if um if upping the quality is that important to this. Like quality is important, it determines certain things. I think it determines to some extent how much um no, this is tricky. So 49 46 49, so it's plus three. That's also a plus three. It's a plus two. But I like the speed bonus. Yeah, any kind of defense is nice. But like I said, it is nice to have the slayer type things, but kinda wanna just do Actually wait, is it worth it? So that's plus one on that. That one's definitely worth it, the level six. So that's an additional plus three. Could just give it a Kuni Slayer instead, maybe. But yeah, you know what, no, let's just go all in on smacking in the face. Now here's the real question. Is it better than my currently equipped weapon? So our healer proxy is A. I don't think it is. <laughs> oh no. It's not. Look at it. For something that says high attacker as the roll, it has 53 attack versus my Helio Prox, which has 68. Oh god. Probably because of the low 15 attack charge. That is hilarious. The speed is... No, it's not even that much better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well I guess I'm not swapping. <laughs> I'll have to like, make it so much better. I'd like to make something good for Lila. Because right now her, um, I made her the gnarly ring, or sorry, the nardy ring. But, uh, eh. Is there like a radiant plate? Like, I have radiant plate on both her and Lent, which is fine. But not great, I think. I think the heated dangle is, is a drop that I had. But I don't actually have that many recipes for uh, accessories, I only have two. Which is kind of annoying. I wonder, can I buy more? Like, have I just been missing out? Like, in the port, is there anyone who sells recipes or anything like that? Because so far I've gotten them all from books and things like that. Look at this nice blue sky. Oh, it's, it's nighttime. All the shops are going to be closed, right? Maybe not. Oh, you sell beast steel areas now. And they're actually decent! That is not bad. These are though. Those are garbage. So much garbage. Um... Yeah, we could buy these, actually. I can make them, but those aren't, those aren't bad. I wonder if I think the HP and speed charge level 10 would be pretty nice, I think. But I'm good for now. Yeah, you don't actually sell anything. Yeah, speed charge, level 15. That's pretty nice. It's too bad there's no compare function. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I don't really like buying armor and those kinds of things though, just because you can't rebuild it if you buy it. Got pudding. And you sell, ooh, actually that's kind of nice. I'll buy some of that. Why is the bargain one so much better? I mean, it's not great, but it's still better quality than expected. Also, I hate rainbow grapes. You can never have enough of them and they always suck. Like, collecting them, you always pick up garbage ones, and I have yet to find somewhere out in the wild that has them. So it's always just picking them up here in the town. Oh, right. What are you using here? There's no... Nope. 
I got this Fragrant Memories quest, but I can't actually do it because it wants me to make perfume. And I don't have it. Like, I don't have the rest of it. Alright. Wait. I assume she's not still here, though. Oh. All right. Anywho, um, let's go back into the other world. This is the reason I haven't finished this game yet. <laughs> is because it's really easy to get distracted with like your own side quest type things. So where you're like, oh, I want to go make this. Let me go work on trying to get this. It's like, oh wait, but what if I need this? It's like that one gif of um, Malcolm in the Middle the dad going and like trying to fix a light bulb or sink? A light bulb? I think it's a light... no. Sink? Anyway, he's trying to fix something and it's just him progressively doing more and more things that don't seem related but are from him finding other things to do while he's working on it. It's, it's exactly that. That's this game in a nutshell. I mean, that's every crafting game in a nutshell really, I suppose. But... Same difference also. Did I not bust this up before? Uh, let's use the axe. Underwood Rock. Oh, <laughs> smack you in the head. It's kind of funny. Yesterday I realized that this game's combat system is actually kind of kind of reminiscent of Token Mirage, which was a game on the Wii U that I played before. Just like the real-time thing where everyone's kind of scrolling down the bottom, or scrolling down the side, and you're going into the moves and whatnot. I mean, there's plenty of other games like that too, like some of the Neptune games, I believe, are like that. But a lot of the time, I don't know. I haven't decided if I like it yet, to be honest, despite playing this for a while. Like, it's fairly easy to deal with, but at the same time, having no break ever, unless you do this, like, use a quick time action so that you get the time to think. You're always, you're always active trying to figure out what to do. But honestly, most of the time I just bonk things with the head. And that's it. Nice, nice miss. But it is a pretty easy interface though, overall. Like, it's blue right now because I'm not letting them use the skills, I can turn to red and they'll start using the AP. Or they feel like it's fine most of the time, honestly, unless you're trying to do something specific. So obviously starting with the higher. Starting with a hit gives you 10 AP to start, so you can immediately get to tactics level 2 so you get more hits in. But I mean, it really it doesn't matter that much. So. Really, I don't think the combat is the um, main focus of the game by any stretch of the imagination. It's just plant essence if everything. Oh, it's poison, that's nice. So the reason we're in this wonderful land is because one of the villagers who is a dick ran off in here and we were traveling friends with him before we started to drift away and become less and less friends and more like cutting through the throat all the time, not getting along and what have you. So we're, we're going in here to try to get him back. But also, this happens to be, like, the other world. The, the underworld. Where uh, one of our characters is originally from. Bomb Dragon, is that new? Yeah. And also the source of the, the monsters that have been plaguing the island. That's a place. So, that's a, a very, very poor summary of some of the story so far. That's the, our motivation for being here. But that's secondary. <clears throat> Very secondary. 
そこだ、うん、次に行こう Hope everyone's been keeping up on their anime though. We're not going to be back, okay? Because、uh, I'm mostly. Good. I haven't watched、um, it's like Masoshi Tensei. Something like that. I just call it the little boy anime. It's the, the guy who's reincarnated as a little kid. And、uh, he's good at magic, basically. So far. Anyway, that's the whole thing. And it's fairly enjoyable. One of my friends tends to drag me into watching. At least one isekai per season because that's her、uh, poison of choice when it comes to things. Where's the Felicia? Was it further ahead? Did I really go further ahead last time? I guess I'm lost.、Um, but that's such, it's, it's pretty decent. I'm waiting for her to watch it until later. So probably after I finish streaming this, I'll see if she's around and play it tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, but really, I think there's two major highlights of this season to me. Which is Euro Camp Season 2, which has been phenomenal so far. And Nan Nan Biori.、Uh, I, I think it's. Is it? It's, is it it's like third or fourth season now? It's called Nan Nan Biori Non Stop. I, I don't think they put a number on it. But it, that's really good. It's got all the charm of the originals. And it's pretty nice. But those are definitely the like, highlights of my season so far. I like them slice of life. So at least. I also finished re watching Cowboy Bebop. Which is something that I was doing. Despite watching 20 different shows this season, I somehow managed to find the time to、uh, stick Cowboy Bebop in there. I haven't gotten around to the movie yet. And I don't think I've ever actually seen the movie, so it'll be,、uh, it'll be new for me, which is kind of nice. Because I had seen all of the original, just out of order, on、uh, Toonami back in the day. And so this is my first time watching it all the way through in order, as well as watching it、um, in the Japanese audio, so it'll be English. The Gabo Bebop is one of the few shows that like, actually has a good dub. Like, this. Done really, really well. So, you won't get any ire from me watching it either way. Not a, not a sub elitist when it comes to Cowboy Bebop. Just everything else. Well, not everything else, but generally. For Japanese. Anyway, um. But it's, it's good though. I enjoyed it a good deal. Oh, you have burned some that, so I don't think you should. Maybe. Oh, hello. Is this anything special? Dark Crystal Fragment. Alright, so let's see. I'm hoping to get a new recipe for、uh, accessories out of this area. If possible, because that's like one of the things I don't have enough of. I don't have enough of. Heroics. Oh shit, that's nice. Crab people. But yeah, it was a enjoyable rewatch. Although, it wasn't until the last episode that they really explained something that Spike said way early on. Like when he told.、Um, When someone was talking about Spike or told him to look at him or something, and he said that it had two different eyes. And I don't know if maybe it was just a subtitle slightly off or something, but they were like, I think they said something about him having two different colored eyes. And I was like, that's not even close to true. Or like one brown eye, one red eye. And I was like, no, both, both of Spike's eyes are brown. I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't until the very end where they actually, like, when he explains to Faye about his eyes, that they actually look any different at all from each other. Alright, here we go. Here's a story event. So I'll shut up for a bit. Holy shit, dude. Is that big enough fire for you? He looks really comfy. 
なぜじゃねえよこのバカ追いかけてきたに決まってんだろ余計なこと余計じゃない分かってるんだからねそういう無茶を私たちに見せつけようとしてるの<笑>本当にあんたは昔からお前こそ昔からそうだお前たちランバーと出会っていないか大丈夫追いかけてる途中で出くわしてちゃんと安全な方に逃がしたよそうか<笑>どうやら親分として最低限の義務は果たしたみたいだなこれでぶっ倒したフィルフさんの上に立ってりゃ俺たちも悔しくてああ結構心配したんだからねボースの仲間たち、oh, あ,あなたはそうだそれにこの場所はここは私の活動拠点彼がフィルフサに襲われてたから少年を助けてくれて感謝する私は白河氏族のリラディザイアスだ勇猛無比の白河氏族生き残りがいたのね私は霊気士族のキロシャイナス She's cute. Can I have her on my team? キロはこの誰もいなくなった土地でたった一人フィルフソと戦い続けているんだ自分は信じる者のために自分の命を懸けるだけリラここは一体どういう土地なんだ今までの門から入った場所とは明らかに違うがここは我らウォーレン族の聖域森を潤す水源地だ水源地どこにも水なんかないむしろカラッカラに干上がってるように見えるけど長くてひどい話をしよう今から数百年前水と緑に恵まれたこの地に侵略者が攻めてきたアンポマスピドゥインソンクレイジーシェットキューマスオフアライフォーデスワンフィルフサカいや門を開いて現れたクリント王国の人間たちだ I feel like アンポスパリパーディングダムソンティンフォームランサムガーアンディスグリーブスモノコトナレセカイニモンをヒラキソノナカニヤクニタツバショガナイカサガシティタノダロソシテコノチワエラバレティシマ以前話したクリントン王国衰退の理由を覚えているかえー、っと確か王国は門の力で2つの世界をつなげて異界から珍しい資源を持ち込んだ資源の力で王国は栄えて門をいっぱい作ったらその門からフィルフサが溢れ出しただっけそうだその資源がこの地全域に散在している。魔石とは比較にならない純度を持つ砂粒ほどの結晶だただ結晶自体が希少な上に水に恵まれたこの地は採掘に不向きだったそこでクリント王国の連中はどういう方法を使ってか一地方全体から水を奪うおそらくは錬金術の力による現象だろうがそのあたりの経緯はよくわからん私は見てないけど。王国の者が渦巻く白と輝く青に渦巻く白と輝く青 Maybe this is where we get our water from その情報は初めて聞くな白と青ってのはこうとにかくこの地からは水が奪われ王国の連中は心置きなく資源の採掘作業に勤しみやがてその高すぎる代償を払うことになった水を嫌っていたフィルスサの大軍が虫歯みの女王に引き入られ枯れた川を越えてやってきたんだあっという間にこの地からクリント王国の人間は駆逐されたしかし結局水は戻らなかったさきの話から察するに古式器具を持ち去られたためだろうすべての水はそこにとどまったままなんだまさか
後にはボロボロになった王連族とフィルフさんをストッカしたこの大地だけが残されたそれでも我らは長い間戦い続けたフィルフさんに怪我され変貌した故郷を取り戻すためにしかし数十年前我が白河氏族もついに敗れ私も重傷を負って敗走したそうして残されていた門の一つから私たちの世界に迷い込みその後二人で王国の遺跡に残された門を探しては封印する旅を始めたのああ全ての元凶たる門を封じ加工を断つ総王連続として誓ったこの聖地で一人勇敢な構成を続けるお前に同胞として協力することが謝らなくていいそれも王連続としての戦い私はあなたの戦いを尊重するまずはボースを無事に連れ帰って彼の心配をしながらじゃ私は戦えないすまない責めているんじゃないしやっかんでもいない何も知らない君には無事に帰ってほしい違うそうじゃないんだっけボースキロが言った渦巻く白と輝く青そのもの俺は家の離れで見たことがあるどういうこと俺の家が村の水源として隠しているそれからは常に水が湧き出していた間違いないあの水はここから奪ったものなんだ私たちの村のブルネン家から湧いてる水がわらぺかも What a pickle! We both need the water. Shoga nai kido. Yapari mina, kangai kondere. What's your hair doing, girl? Mina, jibunga woke in a nanika ni sawateru kigaste. Choto, hoak not there in dio. Boss. 君の見たものがそうだったとしても気にしすぎないでああ分かってると思うこの地に水を取り戻す方法が見つかったのかもし本当にそれが叶えばアンペルあまり器用な起きたことをすべて何もかも背負っていては異界にフィルフサクリント王国に王連続極めつけに村の水源は古式ヒグかオースを追いかけてきたそれだけだったはずがいつの間にかあんなおおかクロウディオこんな時に何をきれいこんな笛の音初めてアンペルお前も心をくつろげて聞いてみたらどうだそんなガチガチになっていたか<笑>これがクラウディアのフルートやっと聞けたな。She got a lot of a lot better at playing in front of people. It's nice. Good development for her. はるかこの空の中。強い時を過ごさせてくれてありがとうそのお礼にせめて門まで送っていくはいお願いしますあ、yes now that we've all listened to a flute we, we are now motivated to leave oh shit that's just okay、うん、ごめん
Sorry if I'm not reading out loud. I don't normally. Because I haven't played this game on stream before, I think. Um, at least not for a long time. So no, I'm just reading it for myself. Because really, I just want to get back to uh, grinding out everything. So apologies <laughs> if I change it over before you finish reading. I really want to know, like, I mean, Ampo is like at least 200 years old now, given what we've heard. So he's got to be like prolonging his life with alchemy, I guess. Because he's just a regular human. Because he's not an Orin or anything like that. Little forest girl. Okay, so the next part of the story is return to the return to the island. So once I finish grabbing up everything, I will. It's cute though. I'd like to try to see her eyes a bit better. I think they're yellow. Okay, so deeper in is this way. Oh, of course there's rocks. Can I finally make a bomb rod, maybe? Yeah, I think I need to make a bomb rod. So maybe he'll finally teach me the uh, things I need to make that. And I'll open up new things for me, which would be good. Anywho. Good little, good little story break, I suppose. Yeah, we might as well fast travel, I guess, on that. Oh wait, there's something. I like to try to try to fill up my bag before I go back. Generally it works out for the best. So I've had have had less resources. Oh, this must be like how she lives. Because I did manage to fill up the inventory entirely and then had to go through and sell a bunch of stuff that I didn't need. So every now and then I'm actually low on resources. So when I did that, I started actually paying attention to the crafting instead of just letting the computer do it. I like that I have a good way of getting poison grass now though, because before we could only find it in jars in the ruins. So it's nice to have a place to get it where it's probably better quality. No one nameless grass, right? But yeah, um, so Crush Crush is pretty fun, besides the bear, which just makes me, like, cringe and facepalm. More story. Kondo,怪我をしないくらい強くならないと来てはダメ。それは。Yes. Yes, it is. God, false, fucking idiot. This is a beautiful I mean, you could just bring back buckets of water, I suppose. キロシャイナス。お前の戦いに加われないことは心苦しいが、せめて調査は急ぐつもりだ。Speak for 
The only party we have is to bring back both. Then we can go on the murder spree. ボス少年の証言したものが真に日の暮らしと月の導きが払うこと。よし。暑い。眩しい。けどこれだよね。ああ。ほんのちょっと出かけただけなのに帰ってきたって感じがするな。こっち側にフィルフサが入り込んでるってことはないよね。見渡す限りでは大丈夫なようだ。この遺跡もじっくり調べたいところだが、それはまた今度だな。大冒険だったね。のんきなこと。もう遊びじゃなくなったのは。お
あ、何かな。錬金術師どもバックトゥズユージュアルイズユージュアルトゥノボイスソンカイにおける私たちへの言われなき球団はもう解消したものと考えて良いのかなのうん外界のままのも実際に言ったことだしああボスフォーレフェ
Und jetzt mal Aqua. Oh. Aqua Farms. So, uh, but yeah, the current season anime is pretty good. I have yet to drop a show. Which is surprising. Um, I mean, it, normally it takes a good a good amount to drop a show in the anime. But some of them I was just really not sure about. So, I think there's only one that's kind of on the edge for dropping, which is the, um, the picnic show. The Otherworld Picnic, I think is its English name. Just because, like, I don't know. I, I'm giving another episode. Uh, because the third episode was anime original. So, it, like, it was completely disconnected hmm. from the rest of the plot that was kind of going on and being built up. I am in the Northern Fork, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. Can I rest again, please, Mr. Flower? Yeah. I figured that the daytime is when the merchant would be around. Hmm. Um, also, see if there's any other other random quests we might have that we could do. Not really, no. So it's just the one here that I can't actually do anything like yet. I'll, uh, I'll exit and come back in. And I'll probably reset the flower. We'll try the afternoon, maybe? Period. Anyhow, um, but yeah, it's just... I don't know what the show's trying to be yet, I guess. And I was intrigued by the first episode because they were using, like, there was random, like, um, urban folklore about yokai and monsters being used as the basis for the creatures. So I was like, oh, cool, it's gonna be like Monster of the Week type thing with the, uh, the two main characters going over to this other world. Why can't I rest again? Um, going to this other world and, you know, running through these things would be, be kind of fun. Oh, I see the, I see the merchant. But the third episode was such garbage that I don't know if I want to bother with the rest. So the fourth episode is going to be the three episode rule. And then I'll keep going from there. Hi, Romy. Okay, she's got monsters blocking her. Alright, let's help her out. Defeat one cloud liner. Okay. That's pretty damn easy. I'm assuming this is a cloud. Hi. You a cloud liner? So, if I wasn't so freakishly overpowered for everything, I'd probably be following the action orders to trigger all the special attacks and all that stuff, but like, it's um, not really worth it to do when you're doing this stuff, I think. It doesn't make the battles go particularly faster, so... It just doesn't seem worth doing. There you go, I mean, I've killed it for you. I get an uh, exorcism brooch, that sounds good. Oh, that's right, we have something of hers. There you go. Have fun, lady. Mm. 
Alright, that thing I just got. Is it any good? Can I give it to her? Wait. Is this a... So it's not a... Hmm. Oh, that energy friend is garbage, isn't it? Alright. Sure. So we got that out of the way. Still don't have anything new that I can actually do yet. Which is annoying. Oh. She's finally satisfying her wanderlust, despite not really going out too far. She's growing as a person. Nice though. Hmm? Oh shit, am I full again? Oh, is my inventory really full? God damn it. Alright, well, I mean, most of this shit we probably don't need, honestly. Like D level things? No, I'm good. So we gotta, we gotta get crafting. Basically, that's what this thing's telling me. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well. Uh, actually, probably the easiest way to deal with it is to just reduce them to gems, but. I guess I must have been this at some Such a good atonement stand. This is such a good little tune. Probably not to enjoy it. Nice one ability. Let's retrieve them. Let's she goes some good experience. Oh no, it gives you a whole one experience. Thanks. Alright. Well, anyway. I suppose. I mean, like, probably the thing to do would be to make supplements, but. Also, me. So instead, let's organize things by quantity. I don't really want to get rid of the ones at 90. 70 though, yes. But not the really good stuff. And apparently organizing it... Well, it's by quantity, I guess, so... I just wish it did it by quality and quantity. You know? Like, you could define two uh, facets for the search. That would be nice. Because otherwise it kind of gets to be a pain in the ass. So I guess we would sort by quality. So, see, then it's hard to tell, like, the things that you have tons of. Uh, this is such a pain. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's see here. 
So things I only have one of, I obviously don't want to get rid of. So, generally what I do when I'm going to do something like this is I try to find things that have entire pages worth. Where the only item that you can see is of that thing. And then... Then I like to try to reduce that a bit. Because then I don't feel like I'm like losing a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, now we have a really good way to get rotten bark, and you can always get a lot of that, so it's good. Lots of bugs. Exofish aren't particularly hard to get either. Though they are fishing spots, so. It's a lot of spirits that I'm losing though. And I feel like I've been using those more so than other times. Surprisingly large amount of beast fossils too, actually. Uh, let's get rid of all the one tier hollow tree fruits. Or just keep the twos. And maybe get rid of all the one crowns. Yeah, then we won't have that many crabs at all, but keep a couple for rebuild. And the fun, fun world of inventory management. Uh, I'll only get rid of a few rusted swords. Those come from enemies, so they're a little bit more of a pain in the ass to farm. But all these eggs can go away, too. See, this is the... Like, I spent a lot of time in the early game just going around and killing things and farming, which led to my inventory getting very, very full of stuff. This is how we arrived to where my, like, house's inventory is actually full when I go back. Okay, like, if there was, I wish there was a way for me to just, like, auto-craft things I've crafted before using the exact same method. That would be nice. Because then I'd be able to like turn all these things into something useful instead. Like supplements. Nameless grass is pretty easy to get to. Same with these, except that you know, I'm getting rid of really good ones. Please stop. Most of them are good, but the seventies can go away. This is generally the part where I fall asleep when I'm playing by myself. If I have to do this, like if I'm lying down and just going and checking off a million things to reduce them down, it makes me very sleepy. That's a lot of eroded stones. Drop off all of these. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes inventory management. Well, maybe some people do. I guess people who are obsessed over, uh, like, oh, like box management or people who get really excited about Amazon packaging algorithms, maybe they, maybe they're all about this. But they probably prefer using really good tools and not just something that goes one click, one click, one click. Like I said, if I could sort this first by uh, quantity and then by quality, this would be a lot simpler. But you know, it, it is what it is. And I'm gonna clear up space. This becomes a slight problem because I don't have like, I don't have enough good new recipes for things to make in order to like rebuild and create better weapons or those things. My weapons are already really good. So, there's that. And then I'm missing key recipes that I need in order to like make other things. Like the uh, bomb rod, for example. Can't make it yet. Which is frustrating. That said, having a bunch of gems is good though because oftentimes it's really, really easy to run out 
Wow, I have a shit ton of tall tons. Ton. So we can probably get rid of a ton of them. A ton of them. Ha. Huh. Okay, I'll, I'll see myself out. Why do I have so many Kirkenfruit? Holy crap. When did I get all these? Why haven't I used any of them? Tons of common stone, but that's... I'm actually okay with having a bunch of common stone. Because I'm, those go into ingots, and they, they use a lot, so... Plant essence. That's really easy to get rid of. And really easy to get. Now that I can get plant essence in the underworld, we probably really don't need to keep anything that's like under 90. Lightning Miller is also super easy to get. Though good for Stalkium, I think. But since I'm not spending any time rebuilding Stalkium, we can just get rid of a good chunk of it. So anyway, anime. Um, yeah, like I said, you were kind of, I, there are a couple shows that I'm that were uh, you know meh-ish, but still probably gonna watch, like um, Scar of the Predator, or yeah, Project Something Scar of the Predator, Predator, um, is definitely like a show that I think eighth graders would like. Because it's got like over the top characters and moves and dramatic poses and really bad CG every now and then, which seems to be what people like nowadays for some okay. godforsaken okay. reason. Um, also, seems like a show marketed more towards young girls who are like wanting to fanboy over something because like the characters are all portrayed as like pretty boys who are powerful and cool, except that to me it just looks cringy and try hard. <laughs> um, Oops. But I mean, eh, it's kind of, it's a, it's an okay concept, like the, the characters have tattoos that give them special abilities, and each tattoo is different, so it's almost Jojo-esque in that way, um, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be a particularly good show. I have, I have to imagine that some people out there will really, really love it, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it looks very generic slash not really marketed towards me, which is fine. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a little bit more of it. I've done three episodes. I was like, yeah, it's okay. Um, we can make this. Thing. What do you do? Oh, it's a bomb that does lightning. Reduce critical rate. That seems pretty good. Alright, let's make one of these. We'll make a really good one and give it to someone. Wait, I have a four? Hey. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, it's just... it's shit. That's why. Lightning damage, electric by flash. Okay. Um. Try our best here. Sure, moss is good. We're gonna use one of my one of my uh, good things. We're gonna use some beast spirit armor, which I'm gonna save because I bet you something's gonna call for that. Is really like the best lightning stuff I have is just the supplements that I made. Well, they're easy to make, so might as well use them. Why are you resetting the order? Hold on. Sorry. Um, be using some stuff like quality to get that decently high. Do I have a four? Probably not. Look at that. Over 200 quality. So that's kind of dropping down by one, which is not bad. Yeah, sure. Okay, 
The goal is always to try to have as high quality at the end of it as possible while also opening up as many paths. Because rebuilding is more expensive, but also this keeps the level low if you get as much as possible in now, which leads to more characters being able to use it, which is great. This actually boosts my quality even higher, so yeah, sure. Sounds good to me. And I made two of them, that's weird. Okay, so two of these lights? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell one of them, basically. But for now, we can swap to using shit ingredients now. Which apparently the golem cores are shit, even though they're worth four. Consume way more gems, though. Not that that's a particularly huge concern given the amount of things we just did, but like, I mean, 63 gems compared to like 600 is a fairly large difference. So, uh, and we can boost the quality even higher. We'll do more damage. This is easy. There you go. Have a piece of rose water. Oh wow, that was a one. Uh, actually, it's cheaper gem wise. Use a two here. And a little bit more. Where's uh, where's your worst? Polluted on this. Two sixty three cost. Versus just using two things that use twenty four. Let's do that one. Point. All right, look at that. The only person who can't use it is Lila. But for the low, low cost at 611, we have an absurdly powerful electric bomb. Let's see. It's rain. Wait, why is why is this thing single target? That's weird. Some good. Get more of that, and I guess just do another critical. Sure. Let's do a debuff on it, I guess. Cool. Okie dokie. And then let's reduce the garbage one. Okay. I don't have that mob grass. Glass, sorry. It's fine. Restore the bottle. Maybe the oil. No. No. Do, 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 do. Wish I could make a fucking bomb mod. Fishing rod net. Just you're just making shit up now. I think I have one of these though. I think. Okay. Yes. I do. Darkness, that's not cool. I need puny leather, apparently. Sorcery rose. Well, that's nice, actually. That's a pretty good one. It gives more speed. Did I equip that on someone already? Like Claudia, maybe? No, she's a chainless. Oh, I do have it. I have it equipped on Tal. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there we go. Now I have this stuff. Uh, monster pot? I don't want that. Resist element and quartz nuggets. It has beloved metal. Oh. That makes no sense, but okay. Um, 
You know what? I think we'll give her this. We'll give her the exorcism brooch. Why not? Ah, uh, not so garbage, huh? Wow, that's a big drop in HP. And a huge drop in speed. So no, you can keep using any of those qualities, garbage. Um, I might swap the four powder out, though. Maybe. Actually... Yeah, you can, you can have that. And then... You've got your delicious biscuit. I don't really use items on the other characters for anything except for exploding them. Is that Almost. Just, it would need more quality. I could boost quality up if I really, really wanted to. Which I don't actually care that much about doing. But that's an initiator versus a Colossal Edge. Which one's better? Or which one's supposed to be better is a real question. The initiator is, okay. It's cool. We'll finish off your quality. Plop. Okay. And... Is this stun plus 20 could be nice? Oh, perfect. There we go. Lend is even more broken now. And I suppose while we're at it, we can check out. Um... I need a gold pony ball. I don't know where to get it, but I want it. Oh shit. Oh, right. Just that. Where is this? Arrow? We'll improve her role. Uh, what? What? Why not? Oh, can she no longer use it if I. Yeah, it becomes level 65. Damn it. All right. Well, apparently that's that's all she's got. I really wish I could make the thing for that. Do I have it? Oh, nope. Still can't make a level thirty. It's kind of cool. You can make a little world, and then uh, go into it and collect things, which is cool. So it's like an easy way to collect high quality items. Except that I can't seem to make anything that has more than a level 20. But there's a quest to get something more than level 30. So I have to assume that you have to use like boss materials for that maybe or something? I don't really know. Or maybe use um, the things that you buy from Claudia's dad. Could also be the case. Sorry, I'm just checking requests. None of those are things I can do. Really annoying. I'm surprised I can't like fast travel into the underworld yet, but I guess it's whatever. We're supposed to pass three days and well like I would normally anyway. 
just go and uh, collect things and such since our inventory was so full of crap I kind of don't want to when I don't have anything to make. I mean, we could try. We could try to make some better things. But... I just, I don't have a, don't have a lot of things. But this doesn't seem worth making at all. That's kind of nice, but... Mm, mm, let's say. What about like a really, what about a really, really good energy pendant? What would that give us? Here, let's see. What do you use? Oh, yeah, no, nope, we're undoing that. You don't get to use that computer, sorry. Yeah, same with that, using the monster collector as an item. No, 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 no. I don't think we want to use the gold we need for that either. Maybe the old night emblem. Although, hold on, was that just not? Okay, I thought it's okay. And next, maybe. Cobblestone. Wow, the magma stuff is really good, isn't it? Wow, the skills. That's nice. I don't really use my skills that often. Only when they really want me to and only during boss fights. And also, I think everything here has been, uh, it's been working properly, right? Like, as far as being quality or everything. Oops. More lapis this stuff so I can maintain or get really good if I use a spear ball. But these... You synthesize it? Uh. I'd rather use this. Been a while since I used one of those. Speed charge. So, now we make it better. Um, boost its quality up a bunch. By using garbage ingredients. So weird. Oh yeah, these are perfect. Complete garbage. Quality-wise, but give three. Although they do take a lot of gems, but I'm not that worried about it right now. Considering. And the defense buff is nice, I think. Very sentence are really. Nice. Where are like the tons and other garbage? I don't really need too much of. Or I could just. I have a lot of comics time. We can use a lot of comics time. For this type of thing. Though I only need two more, so. How about a bug? 
何を入れるのがいいかないいものできそうな予感何を入れるのがいいかな Much less luck than I ever got a lot of So, three of three spirit feathers. Nice big fat bonus, though. That's nice. Nice big bonus to our house. So, yeah, this would be nice. It'll make Rise even more powerful than she already is. That's what you do. Alright, it's, it's reaching its max level. So, let's go for effects over quantity. Yeah, this is gonna push it past. Well, let's go for the so yeah. Right. Now let's find out if it's actually better than the one that she has equipped. one I just made. Uh, worse on speed. Better on a lot of other things. But is it better by enough? So you get 10 more HP, 2 more attack, 5 more defense. Mm, I mean, I guess. I guess it's worth it. Man, that noble. That HP charge. Okay. This this game's core loop of crafting, 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 and such is really, really good at taking up a lot of time without even realizing it, which is not a bad thing, I think. But um. <sighs> I normally wouldn't stream a game like this, to be honest, because there's so much downtime. There's so much downtime that like there's not that much to, to do, and it's also like it kind of demands your focus a bit more than other things, so it's harder to talk over if I'm not outdoors trying to find things. What's this? Pony! Hi, buddy! It's just a harmless little pony. Maybe he can be my pet. Is he actually my little pet? Rise, it's a pony. Those things try to kill us. What? He became green. That's cute. So can I like raise monsters or something? Is that what's going on? Oh, what? I want to raise it into a super maximum ultra puny. <laughs> oh man, puny companion. Okay. Eventual evolve. Okay, sure. Hi, Poonie. What do you want to eat, buddy? My constitution. By the left side. Oh, okay. From its stats, I get it. Nothing actually stays at the top. For all that, huh? Huh. Well, this might be a good way to get rid of something. Oh, that gold only does 
We all know it's fucked up, doesn't it? Uh, let's feed it... I don't know. Something fun. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try to make its mood really good first. How about that? Our first one will be doing something like that. So what does the Puni like best? He likes bubble grass. There you go. No, he's green. Okay. Do it again. How about... How about another... Uh, how about an extra fruit? And then lastly... How about... I guess another... Uh, Useful. Okay. He's cute. Hi, Lila. You, you watching the poonie for us? Mm. Oh, how they mean? That is a good question, actually. Fire balloons and ran into oh. each other? Hmm. Nothing like a little bit of murder to make a fast friendship. Stones and things, I think. Yes, Sorry, no water ones, mainly. I was like, Alright, that's good. It's such a weird system. You grow things. Like, you, you grow rock plants to get rock things. It's so bizarre. Fun, but bizarre. Try to grow some exciting things. How about that? Do I have any threes for reds? No. Not really, no. That sucks. So I guess, uh. Have a honey tree branch for me. Wait, that's high growth. Do I care about high growth? No, no I don't actually. I don't I don't care about harvesting it fast. I'd rather have quantity and rarity. So it's kinda neat though, like the way of getting good ingredients for um, items that you normally can't get high versions of. Not for good again. Five off of those though. Yeah. Probably not. Um oh, that's a big difference between those. We'll use a little bit of nectar rocks. And we'll use some Wait. Do I just Oh no, that's that's just a regular in the eye, never Thought it was gold for me. Message. Probably don't need to use that, we'll probably just use two twos. Are these really Can not use all the, uh, 
Level. Yeah, that's good. Yep. I'll do that. That's two water seeds. And, um. Mythical hide. I wonder if, like, no, putting it other doesn't provide it. Oh, ooh. Don't really have enough, huh? Well, I can make some good. I can make some good stuff with this, though. Do 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 they're, they're kind of retelling some of the stories from the first season, except that they are doing it from the perspective of uh, to Toke? Yeah, Toke. Which is kind of nice, it's kind of fresh and, and good. She's a really cute character, so it's nice to see her perspective of things. Yay! Level 64. Which means maybe I might be able to squeeze in. Not this one. Um, there it is. Can I squeeze in another effect? No. No, I cannot. There is worth trying. Mm. Are we good now? I think it, it's been three days, right? We, we slept a few times. Alright, well, let's save and then go check. I have the feeling that I'm very unlikely to uh, finish this game today, unfortunately for me. But I mean, it's not that unfortunate. I just thought that I was somewhat close to getting there since I got to that underworld area and everything. That may be, uh, be getting further, but like I said, it's really, really easy to sink a lot of time into the crafting system. ウミ海の離れと呼んでいる。水海海の海。湖じゃない。この光れた町体から水が湧き出てる。湧き出た水は昔からある地下水路を通じて水源の滝として流れ落ちている。聖水を溢れさせる渦巻く城と輝く青。モリッツ氏が高台の調査に激怒した理由だな。これがあの森から奪われた水なんだ。これがこの玉が村の水源だったっていうのか。一体どうしてこんなものがここに島の人たちがクリント王国の子孫だから。いや、この玉が離れに
あの森からキロたちを連続から奪ったものを抜け抜けとこんなところに据えつけてブルネンケは村での牽制を得てきたんだこんなもののせいで、uh, you're not, you're not thinking. あんたがなんであんたが止めるんだ Yeah, so let's starve the entire village, idiot. So that. Scassio Sorak. Coreo Coasego Sokza ni Murawa Mizo Sina. Mira san. Arigato. Ja. Ora do Sereba Inda. Ora niwa. Nani ga dekir. Bose. Sono. Tamao Mochkata Sudai Mano Hitono Hanashi. Moritz san ni Kikotoka. Kuasku Sirabera and I. できなくはないと思うがそんなものを調べてどうするうまく説明できないんだけど何かをうっすらと感じるんだこの玉をたどっていろんなものを調べていくうちに解決の糸口がつかめる気がするそうだなリラの言う通り水の問題もある請求に動かず着実に片付けていこう Maybe there's another magical water orb that we can give back to them クリント王国の錬金術がやったことだし、同じ錬金術師としちゃ、放ってはおけないよね。そうだな。<笑> Just make a water forehead。Does this not count as a landmark? おお、どこに行く ?I assume I'm beyond the fence, yeah. What's over here? Is there, a, is there a landmark or anything for us to keep Tao's quest going? Such a pretty game. Hello, large magical water looking thing. You're not a landmark, okay. Probably will be later, maybe, when they just don't want to tell you yet. It certainly looks like one. Boing. I had the pleasure of having Wendy's today because um, they have like these pub cheese things that they started putting out. It's just it's just beer cheese stuff. Um, but I hadn't tried it yet, and I figured it'd be kind of fun to have some for the novelty of it. And they're pretty good.、Um, I've mentioned this before. I'm not a huge fan of French fries or like potato heavy things in general.、Um, I mean, like, I like curry, but it's not quite the same thing, I think. But not a huge fan of French fries. Like, I eat them, they taste good, and then after I have like a handful or less than a handful, I, <laughs> I feel full. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. But、uh, I did get the pub cheese. Fried thing of the Hoosets, and they, they were good.、Um, one of my friends got them and was actually the reason I knew about them in the first place. And she was telling me that she didn't even realize that it was cheese at first. She thought it was like just some weird mayonnaise. And I can see how she thought that because it is really creamy. But it was good.、Um, not like the most, most amazing thing, but definitely like a decent thing from a, from a house food place. And also, the pretzel bread is good on the burger and on the chicken stuff and whatnot. Like, it's just basically it's just more of a thicker roll than anything. It's not bad.、Uh. See, all these people want these random quests that I don't have and that I haven't been given to me. Or like this lady, right? Like, she wants Delphi Rose incense. And it's like, that's cool. I can't get that. Even though I finally got, like, the,、um, the rose liquid, the water stuff. And so I thought that I'd be able to make the perfume fairly shortly after I got that, but that was not even close to the case. Like, that was a while ago that we found those things, so. What do you got? You got a pretty good cloak. Yeah, these, these have really good traits on them. Like attack charge plus 20. Sir, 
something really good. Just wish that I could I could make things like that. Those be and I only have I'll buy them. Why not? Why not? Is the goat back yet? No. I, I want to know what's up with this goat. Such like a random... <laughs> it's so random. I think this is the tower area. This is some other area that I haven't been to yet that looks like it connects down to here. There is, there is an entrance that um, I saw here, but it's up a cliff, so I can't get it yet. So I assume maybe that leads down from there. Yeah, my only real choice is to continue the story. Ampelson, それにしても、お前のあれは私の宣言。ああ。クリント王国の錬金術がやったことを同じ錬金術師としては放ってはおけない。私でもなかなか言えない。素直な言葉だって。そう言わせるだけの行動力が<笑> <お前にはあるのか。アンペルさん。笑> さっきのことを抜きにしても天井知らずに成長していくお前を見て悔しくは感じているよ。え、成長ってそうなのかな。ライザ、あまり男の口に付き合うな。お前まで暮らさに毒されるぞ。どっちでも一緒だ。全く見っともない。相変わらずアンペルさんには容赦ないな。私に何かできることはないのかな。うんうん。いや。Some There are new items. That, that's good. Did I um? I didn't miss anything, did I? Ooh, ooh, hello. A soul flower. Here's a soul. Okay, that's nice. That's the first item that we've had up here in the atelier for a while. Oh wait, look! Look at the tiny, cute thing. Sometimes these things are so random, like which things you're supposed to do. But it's fine. I mean, luckily there's fast travel, so it doesn't take too long to do things. Don't worry, it's not the child abuse that I've faced since I was like five. It's just monsters. Oh no, sorry. It is the child abuse. Just he's better about taking it now. Good for you. Odin and Valence District. 
think this is the building district over here, isn't it? We can just enjoy the island a little bit. It is a nice place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, one of my friends was talking to me about one of my other friends. You know, the usual everything. And uh, they had a, uh, I guess, a disagreement. <laughs> We're just talking about our massive fucking chests and comparing our ads. Abs. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, bye, boss. Liza, Leigh and Tamanga Dogo Karamochkola Taka. やっぱり二人で何を話してたか。ゴールズ。いいね。男同士のギリってやつだ。ゴールズ。うん。変なの。ボーイズ。でもそういうのもいいかもね。ゴールズ。ね、ゴールズ。ね、ゴールズ。
私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は
I can kind of do it. Like if I just, I'm trying to do it without making her like legs move like crazy. Slide. So you can you can see it like right at the beginning of the animation. She slides forward. So like you just do little little ones over and over again. <laughs> like that maybe? Hold on. Oh, I had it for a second. Uh, it's like it's like right on the cusp of it, like right where it starts to actually trigger something. It does it. Ah, uh, oh, almost. Okay, sorry. I'm good. <laughs> it's just fun. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Take it easy.